everyone, it's Rebecca McAdam for Card Player TV, bringing you an update from the $10,000 buy-in Deuce to Seven single draw event. Now we caught up with chip leader David Baker late on day two. So David, tell me how you're getting on. You're pretty deep again. <laughs> well, I mean, I won every pot in the World Series this year, so I mean, it's been pretty easy. I mean, uh, I feel like I've made a lot of all-in bets in this tourney and they haven't been called and I feel like I've been able to put like the pressure for a lot of chips uh, before the draw, so I think that's the key, been the key to me doing well. You must have a pretty good table image, like you went the final table to the Mixed Game Players Championship. Yeah, I don't know what people really think about me at this point, but, uh, you know, they've got to know that I have a little bit of skill, so um, I've been trying to use that to my advantage to try to, you know, put the pressure on people and really push the action before the draw and then try to make hands after. How do you find the time to learn all the different disciplines every game? Uh, I mean, I just love poker, and it's like my life, kind of. I mean, I play video games, I chill with my girlfriend, and then I study poker. So I've got a buddy in this, Stevie, uh, Stephen Chidwick. Uh, he's Stevie444 online. And we, like, taught each other how to play this game and triple draw and all that stuff. So I don't know. I mean, now that the eight game is running on Stars, we uh, there's an incentive to learn just to get good at the cash games that are going all the time. So it was to, it was to beat the high-stakes ca mixed cash games that I originally started. And you're probably finding that there's a lot of new players trying to learn the game that you can take a lot of money from. Yeah, for sure. And then even like older players who think they know the game, but they might not have ever put in any like theory work or real studying. And that's, you know, that's fine when no one knows how. But um, if the trend continues where more people start to, you know, put mathematics and theory behind it, then they might be in a little trouble. But everyone, you know, I mean, I haven't played a lot of hands of this game. I'm running really hot to be the chip leader. But, you know, I've got a solid foundation or whatever. And the game will probably, most likely, they will all evolve like Hold'em did and Omaha is. Yeah, for sure. But uh, the thing is, I don't know, that's why I'm trying to learn, you know, I know 10 games or 12 games now. One of those will always be good, or maybe not. I mean, in 10 years, maybe they're all bad, but I'll learn some other poker or something. So what are you best at then? Uh, Hold'em. I mean, it's got to be Hold'em, but uh, it's at certain tables, I can have a bigger edge in another game. And how are you situated now in this event? Um, I have 400,000, and it's good for chip leader, and it's a ton of chips, and I don't really know the players at my table, but uh, I should be able to use that chip stack to push them around a little bit. So. Well, we look forward to you doing that. Great, thank Thanks you. For Stay tuned to carplayer.com for more video updates and live coverage. I'm Rebecca McAdam for Carplayer TV.